How do graphene batteries work? Current smartphone battery technology is quite advanced, but if there's one thing that gadget enthusiasts cannot get enough of, it is the promise of longer battery life. Wouldn't it be great if our mobile devices could withstand two or three days of heavy use on a single charge? How about an entire week? With graphene batteries, this may not be such a distant possibility. Hey everyone, how you doing today? Before we proceed with this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly click on the notification bell to get updates on our exciting content. Graphene batteries are not currently powering smartphones and other devices, although Samsung is rumored to be working on a solution. In the future, nonetheless, graphene could replace the lithium-ion batteries on which the technology industry has become so dependent over the past several decades. Numerous commercial applications for graphene-based batteries are the subject of active research. Compared to conventional metal-ion batteries, graphene-based batteries' improved performance and life cycle benefits are well worth the resource investment. Processing graphene into electrodes improves batteries owing to graphene's exceptional electromechanical properties and unique combination of large surface area, high electronic conductivity, and superior mechanical properties. For instance, a mono layer of graphene large enough to cover an entire soccer field would weigh less than 3 grams. That is, the surface area per gram of graphene is 2,630 square meters. This tiny amount of graphene has such a large surface area that it can fit inside a AA battery, promoting battery designs with the capacity to store enormous amounts of charge. However, the full potential of graphene-based energy storage devices has yet to be realized. Numerous obstacles remain, particularly in terms of techniques for the cost-effective mass production of graphene with a controlled microstructure and low oxygen residual content. Today, we probe into all you need to know about graphene batteries. What is a graphene battery? Before discussing the graphene battery, it's important to briefly review what graphene is and how it operates. Graphene is a material composed of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal or honeycomb-like structure. Unique to graphene is its one atomic layer thick structure, which effectively renders a graphene sheet two-dimensional. This two-dimensional structure generates very intriguing properties, including superior electrical and thermal conductivity, high flexibility, high strength, and low mass. We're especially interested in the superior electrical and thermal conductivity compared to copper, one of the most commonly used conductive metals. Graphene's capabilities can be applied in a variety of ways to batteries. Like a battery, the optimal application of graphene is as a supercapacitor. Supercapacitors store current like conventional batteries, but they can charge and discharge extremely quickly. How to economically mass-produce graphene sheets for use in batteries and other technologies remains an unsolved problem. Graphene batteries are currently unfeasible due to prohibitively high production costs, but research is helping to make them a reality. In 2017, Samsung announced a technological advancement in its graphene ball. However, we haven't heard anything since then. Recently, it has been reported that Tesla is also interested in automotive battery technology. Tesla Motors is a well-known example of an innovative company actively engaged in researching and commercializing graphene batteries. Graphene batteries are inching closer to commercial viability, but mainstream adoption is still some time away. Similarly, the Chinese automaker GAC made plans to install its graphene battery technology in its first vehicle by September 2021. There is a growing interest in the potential range of graphene aluminum ion cells. Although less expensive, graphene composite alternatives are more rapidly entering the market. Graphene lithium ion hybrid chemistries merged into the cathodes of lithium sulfur cells are anticipated to yield the most significant graphene battery advancements. It will take many years to commercialize this technology, and intensive research is ongoing. Commercializing the more advanced graphene battery technologies will require significant R&D expenditures and several years. Like lithium-ion, Li-ion batteries, graphene cells consist of two conductive plates coated in a porous material and submerged in an electrolyte solution. However, despite their internal similarities, the two batteries have distinct characteristics. The electrical conductivity of graphene is more eminent than that of lithium-ion batteries. This permits the development of extremely high current carrying faster charging batteries. This is especially useful for high capacity automobile batteries and rapid device to device charging. High heat conductance also allows batteries to operate at a lower temperature, extending their lifespan even in a confined space like smartphones. Additionally, graphene batteries are lighter and more compact than lithium ion cells. 
This allows for smaller, thinner devices or larger capacities without the need for additional space. In addition, graphene permits significantly larger capacities. Graphene can hold up to 1,000 watt-hour per kilogram, whereas lithium-ion can store up to 180 watt-hour per kilogram. In conclusion, graphene is safer. Although lithium-ion batteries have an excellent safety record, there have been a few significant incidents involving defective products. Overheating, overcharging, and puncturing lithium-ion batteries can cause runaway chemical imbalances that result in fire. Graphene is significantly more stable, flexible, and robust, as well as more resistant to these issues. Graphene can be used to improve the cathode conductor performance of Li-ion batteries. These batteries are known as graphene metal oxide hybrids or graphene composites. Current batteries are heavier, take longer to charge, have a smaller storage capacity, and have a shorter lifespan than hybrid batteries. How does graphene benefit battery technology? Imagine having a cell phone battery that remained fully charged for more than a week and could be recharged in 15 minutes. Graphene proposes giving all that and much more. Unfortunately, the performance of a lithium-ion battery is limited in two ways by current technology. First, its energy capacity. The length of time a battery can hold a charge is limited by its charge density or the number of lithium ions that can be packed into the anode and cathode. Second, the charge rate of a battery, the rate at which it recharges, is limited by another factor, the rate at which lithium ions can move from the electrolyte to the anode. By transforming graphene into electrodes, anodes, and cathodes, both the energy capacity and charge rate of rechargeable batteries can be enhanced, often substantially. Graphene's excellent mechanical flexibility, good chemical stability, superior electrical conductivity, and high surface area are the reasons for its popularity. However, researchers have reported that LIBs with graphene anodes that are in pristine condition are incapable of producing stable potential outputs, limiting their practical applications. To circumvent this issue and enhance the performance of graphene electrodes even further, researchers are developing a number of strategies. Two electrodes and an electrolyte solution are utilized to facilitate ion transfer in graphene battery technology. The composition of one or both electrodes distinguishes graphene-based batteries from solid-state batteries as the primary distinction between the two types. It's also possible to use carbon allotropes in the anode, although the cathode is where the charge primarily occurs. The cathode of a conventional battery is entirely composed of solid-state materials, whereas the cathode of a graphene battery is a composite hybrid material consisting of a solid-state metallic material and graphene. Depending on the intended application, the graphene content of the composite can vary. Typically, the amount of graphene incorporated into the electrode is determined by the required performance and the existing weakness of efficiencies of the solid-state precursor material. Incorporating graphene-lithium-ion hybrid chemistries into the cathodes of lithium-sulfur cells represents the real advancements in graphene battery technology. A graphene battery does not use pure graphene electrodes, and many graphene-based electrodes are manufactured and function similarly to conventional batteries. Adding graphene to the formulation of the electrodes increases their efficiency. Inorganic electrodes are typically limited in density, conductivity, surface area, capacity, capacitance, and cycle times, among others. Graphene-based batteries are rapidly approaching efficiency parity with the conventional solid-state batteries. Due to the ongoing development of graphene-based batteries, it will not be long before they surpass their solid-state predecessors in terms of performance. Even if the efficiency is not all that high, the additional benefits associated with graphene being present in the electrode can be advantageous. Due to the fact that graphene batteries are an ideal alternative to batteries with comparable efficiency, researchers are attempting to advance this class of batteries. Graphene batteries have begun to gain traction on the commercial market, and it will not be long before these batteries replace solid-state batteries as the standard. That's it on how graphene batteries work. Have you given having a graphene battery in your phone some consideration before now? Would you be getting any smart designs with graphene batteries if it becomes commercialized? Let us know your observations and thoughts in the comment section below. If this video was insightful for you, then go on and like this video. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button for more updates.